Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the Battle for Astrakhazi. So the Dragon's Rejects are following the Night Gaunts in, pushing forward, trying to destroy the last of the Reaper's heavy units. Well, here we are on the ground. We're just going to move up. The uh, Apparently there's a uh, prisoner facility up ahead. So we're going to move up and liberate that, hopefully remove all of the, uh, the prisoners that the Reapers had taken while they're uh, on their campaign on the ground here. Uh, I, this is a Four Skull um, rescue mission against pirates. That's uh, the best I had in my, <laughs> in my mission reports, so I'm hoping that this uh, turns out well. Um, it is Four Skull, so you never know what you're going to encounter, and it's only a rescue mission. I thought we were going to get, uh, I was hoping to get at least two lances or more. Um, but it is pirates, so we have no idea how bad this is going to be. I'm just going to push up the end. Like it's quite a wise, quite a while like, before we get there. So let's just move you up. That's the Hellbringer. Moving out. And the last Serenator. I think our lance is pretty much the same. It's been a while since I played these guys, so Confirmed. I think we're pretty much the same here. Let's get you um, on overload. Move you up. On my way. And we'll move you up. Now I was hoping to bring. Right, Commander. Here's the thing: I was worried about how difficult this was going to be, so I ended up spending 1.2 million on a uh, another vehicle because we we've, we've only got two. We've got um, the Nidhog, Moving to and we've got the Hunter, which has got an LRM20. So I bought this, uh, thinking that we would need one more vehicle. I bought a. Um, where the hell? Oh, we only have one. Right. Uh, I bought a. Um, Ooh, Corsair, a um, J. Edgar SRM carrier for 1.2 million I'm listening. and hired another pilot so we would have someone to run it and then I realized I couldn't drop it because this there is this uh, uh, mission here has only got a weight limit of 600 tons so I couldn't bring them with me I should have checked that before I uh, okay you can't see through there um, I should have checked that before I bought them, but I figure once we start taking five skull missions, I want to try and make sure I do have four vehicles with me. Um, I, I think it's just going to be smart to make sure we have four vehicles. And I like the idea of using fast hovercraft. That J. Edgar, I was kind of shocked it had 170 frontal armor. Alright, you're all up early. Had 170 frontal armor and 100 on each of the sides, and I think it was 70 in the back. So, as a quick strike mech, like a quick strike vehicle, oh, it's another guy over here, Thunderbolt. He's on top of a power station. <laughs> uh, this is going to be fun. I hope we, I hope we land the shot on that power station. Uh, let's get you into here. I can't say no. Like, I mean, let's see if you can get it. Um, Oh, I don't know if we can target the power station because we can't see it. Yeah, it's not letting me target it. But I can target him. 0.9. I don't know if it... Well, it might do enough damage to the uh, power station. Nope. I suppose that's a myth. I don't know how that registers. Because I know if a building is in the way, it'll register... Um, Let's sprint you up here. The building will register as a uh, obstruction. But I guess you need to have a direct line of sight on it to hit it? I don't know. I'm going to drop an artillery. Oh, legend killer. Two ultra fives, two large pulses, two mediums, two smalls, and an AMS. That's pretty nice. Thousand armor. Alright, haven't we encountered one of those guys already? That name sounds familiar. All right. What do you need? Let's just um, full sprint. I want to try and get you as close to the front as possible. Make use of that AMS on all our guys. Doesn't have much movement, but I'm okay with that. Um, got all this thunder ammo. Where do we want to spend it? You know, I don't think I do just yet. Gonna leave it like that. We're not gonna fire. Here's the thing: is I don't know where I need to maneuver just yet. So dropping a massive amount, mass amounts of mines in to Waiting an area I may need to maneuver through would be a bad idea at this point. But I could be wrong, which I probably am, because I'm wrong about a lot of things. 
but that's uh we'll see all right so we're gonna drop this round in there hopefully we hit the uh -huh. power station yeah see i don't know if that does damage to the buildings what no maybe i just can't see it and it'll update when we get up there that that happens quite a bit too we'll keep the nidhog with us for now I'm kind of hesitant to send it out on a flank attack, especially since we have a lot of heavy mechs in the area. Um, it's got good armor, but not need? that good. Let's get you up here. I think this would be a nice match off against the rifleman. Bugging out. Let's get the vulture and the rifleman doing a duel here. They're riflemen, that is. Down the street. I think that would be kind of cool. Let's see if we can get that going. Yeah. We'll find out how tough he is. And I'm liking the lo loadout in this avatar with the three snubs. Seems to be working well for me. Good to go. Although I'm not really that satisfied with this loadout. I mean, it's okay oh, in direct fire. Just running. I think though, it's for me, it's just the weird range. Because these are a lot closer range than the, these are. Like these are really, well for me, medium range weapons. Like a 540 meters, 600 meters, somewhere in there. Yeah. Alright, well, do we engage or do we wait one more turn? Can you get across to the other side? You cannot. I mean, at least this would let us know how accurate they are. But how many of us can get out there? Not that many. So let's not go crazy with it. Let's just get into here for now. We'll wait. Now. If we're going to go out and fight, we might as well go out together and take one mech down at a time. No point in getting too Commander. cocky. You've got more speed. Let's pull you back to here. Make room for everybody else that's a little heavier. So I've seen a few of the posts. I posted again for the yep. uh, Battle Report series. Um, I've seen a few of the posts at this point of my recording. This is like the morning after I posted it, so... Um, and uh, they're starting to look good. Um, series is, I think, going to, sh or the, I shouldn't call it really a series, but the battle is like um, the rules and everything, the, the, the initial setup that I'm doing hey. for it is starting to um, take shape. Let's get you across as we can. Hopefully, we can get some more sensors on. Um, and it seems like several people have said that. Um, Reporting once a week would probably be a good idea. Um, my concern with the once a week, and, and maybe or maybe they're right, I, I could be wrong, um, Ready for orders. is that um, for people who play a lot more, well, I guess it wouldn't really matter. If you play a lot more, then you just, you only play your one match and then wait. I, I, I'm just thinking of my what do you need? perspective because I'm very impatient with a lot of things. So, but I, I'm sure it would be, I'm sure it would be fine. So we would update the battles once every you. week. Let's see if we can get that uh, power relay again. We got both. Um, let's use the swarm. Right, Commander. Nah, it's a miss. Okay, so it did hit the bit. Well, maybe it hit the building. I don't know. I saw the two. It could have been something over here. That's really not a place you want to be standing, though, I don't think. Yeah, he finally moved. The Nidhogg is in striking range of that, too, so... Probably a good thing he moved off that building. Okay, another Thunderbolt. Uh, there's another Transformer here, too. Okay. A little closer than that than I thought we were. What do we got going on here? Tiger tail? Acknowledged. They all haven't moved yet, so... Let's just get into position here, get ready to strike. And then we got the longbow. Good to go. That AMS up here, buddy. Okay. Well, let me, oh, well, let me target the building. 
Wouldn't let me target the power station. That's weird. Let's use... Got 240 incendiaries. So that's only got 40 hit points. So let's um, put you back to ar our arrow for now. For Artemis. We're going to switch you guys to incendiary. We're going to go after that building. Yeah. Affirmative. We'll do more damage by taking the building out and having him fall. Uh, we didn't even get the building. And having him fall and take damage to his legs than we would if we were just targeting him. All right, here we go. Let's do this. This rifleman's challenging us in the in the uh, alleyway here, so let's give it to him. Let's give it to him then. Ultra five fight. Here it comes. That's pretty good chances to hit. We're taking him. Uh, let's uh, front load some damage on this guy. Ooh, that was terrible. I got cocky, that's what it was. So we got four here so far. I really hope there's more. Who would have thought on a four skull recovery mission? See, he's more accurate than you are, buddy. Let's make sure he keeps his head intact. Much more of this. Yeah, I know. I want to take all yeah. his head components. I want to take all his head components. Alright, you don't need to be there. Ah, just put you in the range for back shots. Let's get over here. Affirmative. <laughs> just putting you in the range for back shots. Get you around this side to fight that thunderbolt. Yeah. Yeah, I've been scoring an aw like maybe it's just because I'm noticing it more, but I seem to be scoring a lot more um, back shots on my own guys, and the headshots from both ways going out, uh, outgoing and incoming headshots have been um, a lot higher. So I don't know if that's a um, if that's been adjusted in the in the um, rules and stuff. It just feels like maybe the the uh, per percentage chance to hit for heads has gone up and stuff. Oh. Just because you got jump jets doesn't mean you need to use them. Waiting for orders. Okay, step in front of our uh, Hellbringer here. Provide a little bit of spaced armor. Yeah, see, much better here. heat this guy up a little bit. Uh, yep, yeah, Warlord. Let's apply a bit of heat. I don't know, this probably guy, this guy's probably got a shit ton of heat sinking, probably got a lot of double heat sinks, so... I've already penned. Okay. I wonder if we can shut this guy's ass down. Well, we know who our next target is. What do you got? Heavy rack. Oh, almost 45 damage. I wonder if he's got a rotary 20. Much more of this. Oh, he's overheating hey, too. Command, I'm taking some hits, huh? Are you? That one tagged me good. Did it? I don't like how this is going. That's because you're a coward. Okay. Um. Yeah. Look at the chance to hit on this. Let's make it even better if we can. A little bit. Um. Heavy rotary rifle. Well, that's interesting. It's got a smoker, a bolt on AMS. All right. Attacking from the Man, we're wrecking this city. Not my problem, though. Yeah, I think it's just these four, which is really sad because I was hoping this was going to be better. What can I do for you? Coordinates received. Well, at least it'll be a quick fight. Um. Let me target the building now. Do I really care about this guy, or do I want to shut down the? Uh...
Let's go this way. Oh, he's took a shot to the head. He's got one point left in the head. Well, um, this is a point where we just do this, I think. Let's uh, warlord this. Although I wanted to keep his head, but if we can take him down now, let's do it. Special delivery. No. Nope. Oh well. Right here. Hoping we would get that light plink in the head. All right. No idea. Let's get up here. I think it's just the four, probably. Eighty-two on the building. Thirty-one on him. Got the ammo. Locking in target. Uh, oh, we missed. I was gonna say we hit the building and didn't come uh, down. What the hell? Either? Nope. We just suck. That's all. Um. Let's get you up here. Question is, is do I want to go with tandem on this guy or not? He's jammed. Let's just go with the better chance to hit. Strip some armor. I want. I'm interested to see that what that heavy, heavy rotary rifle's got. It's do if it's doing 45 damage per shot. Shots through onto the uh, rifleman back there. It's looking all drunk on like. Step drunk on like. Let's get you up. Uh, we'll just walk it up. They don't have very many missiles, but at least the uh, AMS is here if we need it. And then let's uh, choose some heat and apply, apply liberally here. Oops. Half a cry out loud. There we go. Okay, Warlord. Confirm. Enjoy! I should get some Hydra ammo for this thing. Just one ton, you know? Yeah, we got a head hit on him. That one's gone. Let's hit him hard. That's fine, works for me. That guy's going on 18. Got a 19. Are we gonna get a kill on him before we won't? Okay, you can take on the Thunderbolt. I think that's probably good. We won't hit our own guy here, I hope. I'm trying to think of some other loadouts for this lacerator too. Like it's I mean I guess it's okay. It's great to hunt down lighter mechs. Um and to murder heavy vehicles. But other than that, I mean I guess I mean it's I guess it's okay as a support. Oh fuck's sake. Yeah, well Can't help you there, buddy. Can't help you there. Okay, asshole's got a Waiting smoker. And he's jammed, so coordinates received. We'll just move it forward. Just move it forward. Yeah, let's go all out on this guy. Wow, you're just not hitting today. What is it? What is going on? Critical hit, Commander. Well, hopefully with the rotary jammed and now and now critted, it'll be out of action for the rest of the fight. Gonna go two on one, are ya? Oh, somebody's got like pepper box rifles or something. I hear ya. Okay, you don't need to move. That's probably enough to take the building down if we hit. Probably. 80 hit points? Let's find out. Uh -huh. Yep. Target destroyed. So 65 damage per leg it looked like. Or it could have been total. Okay, got the MS working. How many did we get? Ah, five from sixteen. That's not too bad. It's not too bad. Yes, commander. All right, bomber. Um. Okay, there was been some question, and I'm wondering too. 
of how much damage these power stations do if we can't hit it from there if we blow them up next to an enemy so let's move here we go I'm gonna go to here should be far enough away I think now we've had a, we had one go off on the night gaunts I wasn't really paying too much attention to how much damage they did so it's got 50 hit points yeah explosion warning I'm gonna use these because I mean we're almost done this battle anyway so there's the explosion and it, Target destroyed. I think he's just outside the range or was he I don't know that might have been a hit to him I know we hit him with some swarm I don't think we hit him with anything else so 75 maybe I didn't see the number go up so it was hard to tell yeah I guess if you're standing like with like on this or in this like, w like one hex radius around it it's probably devastating yep so um who do we want to I'm gonna get you on the other Thunderbolt Roger this guy down here is uh on it well His rotary rifle is back for next turn. Let's make sure we take, take him it. down. God, this city. Receiving. Nobody's going to want to live here. Actually, nobody lives here right now, Got so it. it's fine. It's an abandoned city. People just left their cars in the middle of the road, too. And they're all just like, yeah, no, man. We don't live here. Ah, uh, he's incendiary. Put him over the red line. Whoa. Well, there we go. One left target. Somebody had inf <laughs> somebody had inferno ammo. Oh, that was the smoker. Maybe that was what it was. We hit the smoker and it went off. Receiving you. I've got one of those things. I just haven't used it yet. It's like a really, really heavy attachment, though. Heavy add-on piece. So I just really haven't bothered because it doesn't. Reading the description, it just wasn't like doing it for me. So this guy's just a standard thunderbolt, pretty much. Tear and these guys a new one. Um, confirm the vigilance. We got the uh, ah, we don't have the speed though. Oh well, no, wor no worries. We got him next turn. These guys aren't too bad of speed for heavy max. All right, well. Go this route. Might as well drop some chaff on him. Yeah, a couple of them hit, looks like. Show me your war face. If it just means that he's not going to be able to shoot Commander. some of us, then that's perfect. Can still be seen there, eh? If that wasn't there, I would go to here. But you know damn well this guy's going to move and shoot this thing. I guess we could go here, though. It's still out of range enough. Let's do that. I copy. Uh, what do we want to apply for damage here? That's a little much. Look at the heat gauge here, too, right? Because we got to move next turn. Yeah, let's go this route. Confirm. Thunderbolts are lightly armored for 65 tonners, so. Oh, we got his LRM 10. SRMs are gone. You got lots more, though. Just right hang here. on, little buddy. Hang on. All right, let's get you on this. Yeah, I can't get him from there. Do it from here, though. Gonna get the, on this other Thunderbolt. Just so he's got a distraction, so he doesn't have the Lacerator. And... Yep. Ah. I really hope that they get another Lance when we get up there. At four skulls, this is, like, totally underwhelming. 
I guess they just shifted all of their resources over to fight the night gods. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Oh, somebody's got... My heat gauge is all red. Okay, so I took a lot of damage from that thing. I, mean, I guess it depends on the transformer. So... Yeah, see, I don't know. Why is it... Maybe this is a chemical explosion? Because he looks like he's actually in that hex. Maybe he took a one-time direct shot? I think I did... No, I got leg damage. I got damage spread all over. Not the head, though. See, that doesn't... Okay. Order. Sure. We'll go that route. I copy. I don't know. Maybe that guy's just a little more evasive than me. <laughs> Whatever. Um, he's not overheating. Let's just go standard and shoot him. On it. God, tiger tail, man. That's the right mech for her. That hit something good. I gotta say that she's come. She's coming to her own, piloting that rifleman. All right, we can't get. Double time. Let's other go. guy. Can't get the other guy. Let's just t let's d let's just delete this guy then. He's still going. Inflicted somehow. Oh, we got the knockdown anyway. But you can see what I mean about like. I don't know. I. I think this version of Rogue Tech is a lot more balanced on loadouts. Aye, aye. Um, before you used to be able to build like a 70 tonner that would just delete shit like constantly. But now it's like, it's just so balanced now that you gotta like, you know, figure out how you're gonna run your loadouts. And it just makes more sense to me, it just, it just f feels like a better game. Maybe I'm wrong. But to me, it Copy just that. feels like it's a better game. Because I mean, gone are the hit. days of running like six ER PPCs and things like that. Because you just can't sink the heat, right? What do you need? You, there's no way you're gonna sink like the the uh, the heat from six ER PPCs. Let's move. Four, maybe. Like that's two hundred and. Four ER PPCs is 200 and... This is clan ER PPCs, that is. 224 heat. Well, no getting around that. Aye, aye. Target destroyed. Yeah. I mean, you Waiting can... You, you might be able to do it. But then that's all you'd be able to run. So you'd be looking at maybe 300 damage if you hit with all four. Whereas now it just makes more sense to run a uh, a split a split run where you've got like you know some um, ballistic to keep your heat down. On who? On the Nidhog? That far away? Maybe with artillery. Okay. Fair enough. Yes, Commander. Yeah, it's my bad. Sorry about that. How are we doing for heat on this guy? Uh, I should just... Why am I switching? I don't know. Good practice, I guess. Fire. Oh, yeah, let's change targets to something I don't want to change targets to. There we go. I find sometimes it's sluggish on um, accepting commands. So if I go to click on something, <laughs> the click registers, but not where the mouse is, and I go to, and then I move the mouse, and it clicks where, like the click registers wherever the mouse happens to be when it decides it's registering it. If that makes sense, it's kind of a bizarre thing. Waiting for orders. Doesn't happen all the time, but uh, several times it does. Several times a match, at least. Let's get you up here. Who's up? I'm here. Acknowledge. There you go. You didn't get to shoot last. Oh yeah, you got the. Yeah, yeah, you did. You got to shoot last turn. I was gonna say you didn't get to shoot last turn. You do this turn though. I'm taking the shot. There goes the leg. There goes the arm. There goes the side. There goes the back. Hostile removed. There you go. I copy. Let's finish this sucker up. 
Get over here. Pollen ass. Drop some heat. Ready for well, we do have a lot of good. We do have a lot of good heat sinking. That's the one thing I will say with these mechs. Confirmed. We can drop heat quickly. Yes, command. I'm interested to see how, like, once we get up to some hundred ton max, see how much we can sink with, like, yes, commander. Those super heavy max. All right, let's get you up here. Copy. I hope there's nothing else we got to do other than just claim this thing. Orders. Yeah. So the super heavies are well, hundred tonners for me. I'm interested to see yeah. how well we can lay them out with, like. I don't know. Maybe I'll, I'm going to try to go back to my some of my old time you. loadouts, just to Sounds see smart. if we can cool. actually run it. So like six ER large lasers and things like that, right? The ER larges aren't so bad. Cool. They're only like 45 heat or something, so it's not too too bad. Roger. I think Location that's this is probably fun. it. I copy. Think this is probably it. Yeah, you guys can just stay there. Confirm. Holding. Uh, Tiger Tails, take this game to the conclusion. Moving. We have the there we go. Commander. All right, let's have a look here. We lost three hundred eight thousand. We're not going to get that back. Oh man, that brought way too much. Oh well, not much we can do. We could get a, put together a thunderbolt. Oh, all three of the rifleman parts. Well, hello there. We'll take that. That's a massive upgrade for uh, Tiger Tail. We could take the Ultra Fives too. We've got one. We got claws here too. Light engine we don't need. So fire control system Predator. We've got one. Hmm. Pirate fire control system, prototype double heat route. Okay, we're taking that for sure. Tracker sensors. Yeah, I've been looking for these. Can I throw that in for a second? And then it's just ammo. Yeah, I think, much as I want the Ultra 5s, I think we can get them elsewhere. Like, I think we've got a... I think I've got a Clan Ultra 5 as well. So, I mean, we could go this route. Right? Put together the Legend Killer. With ER Larges and Ultra 5s. Although, those Pirate AC 5s, I kind of want to leave them on this thing. Maybe we leave them on here? I don't know. Sensor trackers? Yeah. So, we'll, let's go this route and see what we get. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see. Another Thunderbolt, or a Thunderbolt part. Medium lasers, we've got six, so we don't really need those. Don't need the smalls. Claws, nice. Get rid of that. Fire control system, Predator, that's beautiful. Regular heat sinks can go. Double heat sink will keep. Punch, lower melee, nice. Prototype double heat sink. Range finder, nice. AMS ammo, this is the thing we've been looking for forever. And Ultra 5 ammo, which we've got some of, but it's nice to have more. All right, not bad. Alright guys, so we're after rescuing everybody from the uh, prison facility, it looks like um, the rest of the Reaper forces are attacking. Now, the uh, facility down here is still housing some of the, uh, the prisoners, and we're slowly evacuating them, but the rest of the Reaper forces just showed up and they're going to uh, like slaughter the people. So we have to kind of return from where we were and get back and help them out. So, um, looks like there's a bunch of them around those guys these guys here are our vehicles coming to help out so if we can get back here maybe we can get some turrets up and running to help defend but we've got I don't know what the hell's here that looks like a war hammer I have no idea a mad cat oh my god it could be a timber wolf I don't know well we better get back there like ASAP before they uh, kill all those people so that's what we're gonna do. Uh, who's up here? What's up, Commander? Retriever, Lance Two. Get up What's here. Get up? some fire. Get some firepower on those enemies. Suppressing fire. Uh, yeah, we're gonna fire everything. Hope we land something here. 
So this guy's got three missiles and a ballistic, it looked like. Okay, at least we tagged him. Where is he going? Yeah, so this is a four skull defend base mission, and it did actually drop the enemy right on top of the base. I have no idea how it does, how it figures oh, those out, but so now I'm like fighting for my life, trying to get back to the damn base so they don't blow it up before the mission even gets started. So we're gonna ra rush back here and hope like that guy's gonna <laughs> like. Oh, this is bad. Okay, so like I said, four skull defend base. Can you get you can get a back shot in that guy? All right, we got some visuals. Oh, they got three over there. What are we looking at here? King Crab, a Frankie, a Warhammer, and a Talos. Eighteen percent. Ah, well. I think we can't not take the shot. Not your lucky day. Easy. Yeah, well. Of course, I missed. I think we can't not take the shot. Yep. You though, how far can you get? Still only to the Talos, eh? We better hope we get good initiative next turn. Uh, we don't have enough resolve yet. Let's just shoot this guy. Hopefully we get a hit on him. Don't Attack rack up too much heat. Nope. Oh man. What do you need? We're in a bad position. Beware the Spanish Inquisition. Um Take this. Oh well. You never know. Uh, that was actually pretty close. Negative damage. Thank god that's only a Talos. So actually, you know what? I better this guy's got the uh, artillery. Uh, but he's got a thumper. Nope. Okay. Commander. At least he's hiding. Fast as you can, please. Got it. I'm gonna speed up some of the movements on this just so we can get into the combat range here. How far can you guys go? Not very far. I hope this other vehicle is a hover vehicle. What's up, boss? That king crab is going to bring down a building. On the move, full speed. We just don't have the speed to catch them. They're just going to push in there, and then then what? Then what do we do? Nope, this guy doesn't have any speed at all. Like once we come down here, we're still not going to be able to see them. I'm going to have to shoot these buildings to get them out of the way. I think. That's maybe what Waiting we do you, this turn. Uh, I don't know if we'll be able to do that though. Okay, can we get down that way? We cannot. So there's no way down from there for me. Unless we go down here and around and over. So let's just keep going down the road. Try and stick with everybody else. So can I... It will let me target the building. Weird, it wouldn't let me target the other buildings before. Let's go with incendiary. Special delivery. Nice. This ramp's gonna be in the way, but that's hey fine. Day. That's fine. Standing by. I'd love to lay minefields over right. there, but Full speed. we have to go back that way, so we can't do that. So let's do... Um, I can't target anybody anyway. Better switch this around, though. Uh, yeah, let's go that route. Okay, who's up? Oh, fuck. At least they don't get to shoot, though. They shouldn't be able to shoot. Right? Right? Copy that. Oh. There's another lance here, too. There's two lances. Oh, crap. Uh... We gotta get out. We gotta get down there. We gotta get down there. Let's move. Fast as you can, please. Get down there. On it. You get to there. How far can you go? Yep, all the way down here. Heading out. Mm-hmm. As far as you can, get that AMS up here. Heading out. 
uh -huh. that there. Um, they're gonna shoot for you, most likely, but let's get you in a position where we can get around yeah. behind somebody. Okay. I think that guy's got an axe, too. Which guy was it? This guy right here. No, is I'm, am I mistaken? Orion? No, okay. I am mistaken. So the vehicles didn't move. Why do they not move? Orders. So he's got four PPCs and an Ultra 5. That's going to be bad times. Okay, so you got an LBX. Combat shotgun AC-10. Alright. Yeah, so you're kind of an upgraded version. The Frankie is just not my concern at the moment. The Talos has got an AC-10. Moving to position. This first turn, we're all going to be in bad spots, so not much I can do about this. we got to get down in here and get this battle going. So I'm going to throw the tandem on. We're going to warlord this. I'm going to put it right in the back of this uh, this guy here, this warhammer, and see if we can take him down early. Unlikely, but we'll give it a shot. Boom. How you like me now? Hostile removed. All right. Slowly equaling. Looks like it's we got they got five left. Commander. I would bet I would wager that the uh, their reinforcements is a half uh, a half lance. That's garbage chance to hit on this guy. Uh, but you cannot stay out in the open. Let's pull you into here. Actually, can we walk there? We can. So let's get into here. We will take shots on this Talos. I mean, we're in prime range. Oh my god, that's a good, pretty good chance to hit with the lasers. Do I want to try and delete him? With the, uh, tandems? Because he's probably doesn't, he probably doesn't have case. Like, we could just go for the deletion on this guy. How much armor do you have? 50, 100. Save the heavies. And see if we can get lucky with the shot on this. Because if we can pull him down now, then open, that frees our whole left side. I don't have to, or our right side. You know, you know what side I mean. From getting shot in the back. Guess I'll give it to him, Let's go for that. I don't think we're going to get him. Nope. I'm guessing you didn't like that, did ya? Nope. We did not. SRMs are gone. Yeah. Feeling underpowered. Hey. Okay. Now. That's the Orion. How far can we get on this king crab? I don't think we can get a back shot on him. No. I mean, we could try and take out the Frankie. Get into here like this. I think we do that. These guys are now alerted to our presence, so they, they have to turn and fight us. They can't shoot the buildings. I mean, they could, but it would be their death if they did. So let's go after this guy. We leave the quad pods for later, but we're gonna try and delete this guy if we can. You say so. Good shot, though. I'm not sure where we got. Probably his arm. Nope. CT back. Oh, that was close. That was really close. 15 points shy. What's up, boss? Let's hope we can get some spillover damage. Let's get to. Here. 
Roger that. I'm gonna apply some early heat to this king crab, I think. I think that's the smart move here. If we can get some good heat on this guy, he'll probably fire everything anyway. On it. But with the with the revisions to the rules, I've been noticing when when the enemy is overheated, they don't always fire everything. So if we can put a lot of heat on him, he may reduce the amount of weapons he fires. Which will be a big help for us. So 18... Or 19, who's that? Frankie, oh well. We had the chance for a kill. Although we could hit him with Swarm, that might do it. Yeah. Avatar. Get into the trees, let's move over here. On it. Everybody on the King Crab, please. I'm gonna, well, I want mortars and grenade launchers in this guy till he's gone. Aye, aye. Get some more heat on him if we can. A couple of PPCs landed. 27 heat, that's nice. Standing of fire, that even helps. Can we, like, not call those vehicles prime movers? It reminds me of the, um... What's it called? Is it the... I don't think it's the Kalam. The Kalam Cosmological Argument. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of it. it basically states that, you know, um, the universe had a beginning, therefore like the universe has a cause. Holding firm. But then, the, uh, oh sorry, I'm thinking of unmoved mover, never mind. It's a, it's a religious argument. There has to be, God has to exist because, they, because um, there has to be a first cause. But then the argument is, is you can't prove there has to there be a first cause unless if the universe was constantly let's go here right no if, target. if there's like universe multiverse whatever is beyond you know plank time whatever happened before plank time um, go this route go damage he's only got one one ballistic one missile let's go damage warlord Got enough damage on him, maybe we can knock him Copy over. That. So, yeah, so the idea of the unmoved mover is that it's the, there has to be something to start everything. What can I do for then you? You can't prove that. Like, it's just... I read you, Commander. It's, once again, it's an argument from, like, I don't know what. Like, you, there's no way to prove any of that. You're just assuming. Uh, we want to EMP this guy? I think so. Let's warlord this too. Get some instability on him. Miss. Ah, uh, damn it. Anyway, I'm moving away from those arguments now. I can't think about them while I'm playing. It's one of those things. If you're going to sit down and argument, argue for the like existence of things before the universe began, or what we consider the universe yes, beginning. Commander. You gotta like be completely invested in the argument, so I'm just not gonna bother at this point. All right, let's get up here, and I think we drop maybe more incendiary on the king crab. I think we do. I think we do. If we can get this guy overheated or knocked down, I can probably pull his legs off. I think we, I, I'm pretty sure we do have kaiju parts. Oh. One less target. Well, okay. Then there's that. What do you need? That works too, I guess. Um. Can we delete? The Talos isn't that much of a threat. Let's not go there, though. It gives the Talos a side shot. Let's go here. Heading out. Uh, with the remainder, let's just try and delete this Frankie if we can. Wow, he's got, uh, some pretty good defense there. Let's hope for my chance to hit. Somebody have good e ECM back there? Maybe. This guy doesn't seem to be a recipient of it, though, so, uh, let's show him how, uh, moving forward it's probably bad for him. Confirmed. Nice. Heads up, Commander. You've got 
Of course we do. Fuck me. <laughs> okay. That is a copter. God damn it. We gotta kill that guy far away. Where is he? Bumper? Artillery vehicle? Of course. What, what else would it be? Now, I thought it was back here. Fire starter, marauder. Okay, got a bunch of those. I can't take much more of this. Losing lots of armor. All right, where are we looking here now? I thought I heard something coming back there. And then we got these guys here. So we got the th we got a thunderbolt, fire starter, not a big deal. Hunchback 4E, marauder. So it might just be the four, because we are technically, oh, here they are back here, Ripper. We're fighting the Oregon Coalition, so it's not so bad. Thumper artillery piece, Archer, and a Merlin. Not that familiar with the Merlin, but they've got back shots on us, so now, so we gotta sweep these guys in front of us here. Okay, so who's up here, Skull? Right here, mm-hmm. Can't get... Is that a building there? I guess it is. It's weird that I can't get in there. Okay. Uh, let's not get out in the open where everybody can see you. But we're in a really bad position here now. Okay, that guy over there can see you. I mean, we could... Oh, man. I gotta sweep these guys in front of me. I have to do it. I used up all those tandems too, just such a frustrating thing. Okay, I think we need to move here. I want that ripper gun so I don't have to listen to the friggin' helicopter sounds. Let's just move this way in case they knock this building down. I know we're giving our- we have to give our back to somebody. If we're gonna take these guys down. Let's keep the heavy rocket launchers for later. Let's fire. Here we go. Show me your war face. Guy was panicking before, so... Hopefully he doesn't have a good chance to- he goes on 17, eh? What do we go- that's 21. We got 20 with the Hellbringer and the ACs. Low on the artillery. What's our, uh... You're going on 16. I think we need to target that Orion. Okay, he's running. He's a quick back kill. I could probably run him down with the chopper and use one of the uh, the ATGMs on his back. Ready for order. Okay, they're abandoning this guy. Coordinates received. Which is good good news for us. That a freaking chopper sounds. Because I can see him. Maybe if I kill him when I, where I can't see him. Or when I can't see him, the sound will be there. Just gives me a headache. Let's hang on to the tandems for now. And yes. Okay. Guess it's alright. There we go. That's all. Just stop, please. It's just suicide. I don't understand why they would... Like, would you? If you saw a big line of... A firing line of enemies, would you run up and knock one of them down? I mean, <laughs> you're, just, you're just asking, hey guys, can you delete me? I don't want to play anymore, just can you delete me? Can you delete my character? It's like, yeah, sure, man. Sure, just charge these guys and then we'll delete you. Ready for orders. I mean, I guess he's got a chance to live. If we don't target him, he's fine. 
Copy that. Okay, on this guy. Switch into damage. Don't care about the overheat on this guy. Locking in all weapons. Ah. I think now is the time to use thunder, though. I think I don't know. Can these guys get up here? I think they can. I think we're gonna apply it over here, though. This guy's got a lot of armor, I believe. Yeah, but we're gonna apply some some uh, stuff over there. He's hiding. Uh, he's moving up now. Damn it! Oh, he's shooting for the buildings. Okay, at least he's not shooting for us. Delete the buildings as long as you don't damage my max. <laughs> what a good rescuer I am. Is that a Kentaro? No. It's the Merlin. Wait, is the Merlin a, a variant of, of the Kentaro? Could be. Very well could be. Alright, bomber. Or Sarge. Yeah. Okay, the Thunderbolt really hasn't gone yet, and the or Orion hasn't gone yet either. Like, I could... I think we do this. Going full throttle. I think I want to get on this roughneck and see if we can remove him. If we can make the left side axe get ammo. Now that should land first, meaning it'll do because acid does more damage to armor. So it'll do armor damage first, and then it will apply this stuff afterwards, correct? Doesn't matter. Bail out, bail out, bail out, nice. bail out. Got past nope. the armor. You sure did. Christ, at this rate, we're not going to get any turrets up before the battle's over. They're probably going to destroy these vehicles. Man, when I get up, this guy's in a lot of trouble. I should probably make sure that I'm going to put, um... Let's get you going. I'm going to put, um... Wait, where did the Orion go? Oh, he's running. Are you? You're running? Really? Where are you going? Come on, come back and play with us. We're just we're we're just having a good time. We're playing. We're not. Uh, do I delete the Frankie? Probably. Save the AC. All right. Goodbye. How do you pop the fight? Come back and play with us. Where are you going, Orion? He's going. He's moving that way because I. He's moving. He's moving that way because he wants to be a thorn in my side very shortly. Anyway, as I was saying, I'm gonna put. Um, that's the archer. I'm gonna put. Um, where are you here? No. I hear you. Uh, I'm gonna put this guy in a position to target this guy. You know, if I was worried about, let's put you, I really want to kill that copter. Let's move you back. Got it. I think I should be able to use flak on the copter. Cause I want him getting close. Right? No, is he too far away? Oh, it's indirect. It probably has to be direct fire. Do we have Sam? We do. Um, that's... Well, we might get lucky and hit his side. Let's give it a shot. How bad is it I'm targeting a vehicle because of the noise? Yep. Okay, so, uh... Present armor. We're gonna Vigilance, so hopefully you go before the Talos next turn. And then we're going to... Go this route. And we're gonna do target ground. I'm gonna put it in front of. Let's put it just right in front of the vehicle here, like this. Confirm that. Uh, 
The archer will probably eventually run into it anyway, unless he goes up here. But at least the vehicle will take a significant... Well, not significant, but at least it takes some damage. Waiting for orders. All right, Rusty. Uh, what do you say we put this Talos on his ass? Ah, fuck. That's just opening myself up to the Orion. Just opening myself up to the Orion. All right, let's do this. Locking up. Ooh, not quite enough. We got a head hit though, so he's going to be going be last yep. before anybody. Oh, never mind. How about I just delete him now? Okay, we're going to do that. Going to do this because we got lots of resolve. Want to charge me? Here you go. Okay. Present for you. Well, I just blew our cover. Although I don't think we need it anymore. I think we're in a good position here. I think we got the positioning. It's a good thing the thumper's not shooting for us. We're all <laughs> we're all super bunched up here. Oh, he's moving away. Beautiful. Yeah, you go back there and hide. Too loud. Yeah. Roger. And I could be bitter and just kill the guy on the ground, but we got bigger fish to fry here. Let's get this guy. We're jammed on one. I'm taking this guy. Let's get this guy started. Got a tag on him. Nice. This guy should go down relatively quickly. I think we'll use the lacerator on him. Oh, you can go in there. I guess you can't walk in there. You only got to jump in there. Sure. Sure. Whatever works for you. Receiving you. Got to watch those guys on my left, right, that side. Oh, the guys over here. On this side, ah, uh, oh, God. All right, um, fire. Fire. Why? Not a lot of stability damage on him, though. Not a lot of stability. All right, Orion. Nope. Merlin, jumping around. Using an LRM five or something? Sure. Yeah. Alright, let's just stand behind these guys and finish up this guy on the ground. On my way. Get some spaced armor going. And we'll target this guy's torso. Here you go. Well, not dead, but oh, now I'm certainly not that much alive up. either. Is he a stick yet? Well, he still got his AC ten, so that's not good. Maybe one of our vehicles will shoot him. Wouldn't that be nice? Ow. The AMS going off. I'm taking heavy hits, Commander. Uh, we only shot I'm down a few of them, though. Here. Well, with two, four, I didn't see how many this guy hit. So, a few of them anyway. Although the swarm, I guess if he's using, I'm pretty sure he's using swarm. It's still hitting a lot of people, it looks like. Crunch back. Why is he not firing? Oh, I guess somebody hit the Talos. He's got a thumper. Well, shit. They hit the Talos. What do you need? Let's get some fire suppression on this guy first. Oops. God damn it. Two. One, two. One, two. What are we looking at? 35%? No idea on this guy. 32. Now, I think we got to get some fire suppression on this guy. I don't want him using a stumper. Although the minefield would be nice. 
I, vil I vigilance this guy to get better initiative, and now I'm, I'm just kind of wasting it. Actually, you know what? The thumper hasn't moved yet. Forget it. Let's do the... Uh, Let's apply this. Yeah, so I was the I was a victim um, on an offline playthrough of a uh, triple mortar four carrier with fast gam mines, and uh, yeah, realizing how horrible the uh, minefields really are. <laughs> they. Uh, they fired, and it, I saw a couple of explosions go off, and I wasn't thinking much of it because I, it just said it did, it just said carrier, so I had no idea what it was, and it fired. And I thought, okay, well, maybe it was a mortar two or mortar four, because there was a few explosions around. It didn't look like that much, right? So, not thinking, I ran this uh, a fire starter mech that I had Come through on. it, Send me a real and it warrior. took it did 60 damage to both of the legs. I was like, holy crap! But then the weird thing is, is I had picked up that mortar carrier after the battle and kept it. And then I applied the three mortar fours with fast gam. And I picked up two mortar twos off that battle too with fast gam ammo. And I used, so it was a mortar 20 with fast gam in one location. And one of their mechs ran through it and it barely did any damage to their legs. And I'm like, RNG man, RNG Jesus does not like me. Yeah, doing some damage to the Thunderbolt. Reporting. Minimal damage. Oh, and hitting me as well, apparently. Yeah, but that same match, I ran... Um, who was it now? Oh, I had a Bushwhacker. That was what it was. I was running my Bushwhacker back. I had to go through the mines because it was a defend base mission, so I had to, I had to engage the enemy. Okay, let's get you... Here? That's not bad at all. I had to engage the enemy. So I had to move through the minefield. So I did that. But for some reason, I guess when the legs take a certain amount of damage or you end up with some instability from the mines, your mech stops moving. The back. Damn it. So it stopped moving me, but then basically teleported me inside one of the buildings I was defending. And I'm like, how the hell does that work? Like I was like, like literally right beside the building, I guess when I was running. And for some reason, it put me inside the building. And I'm like, okay. Aye, aye. Can I shoot my way out of the building? Apparently, no. You can't. So, for the rest of the battle, my, uh... Do I go hunting or do I go after this Thunderbolt? For the rest of the battle, my, um... Bushwhacker was stuck in this building and all I could do was shoot LRM-5s. I couldn't use any direct fire weapon, even though I could see the enemy direct fire. All I could do was shoot indirectly out of the building. It was bizar very, very bizarre. Okay, I'm on it. Yeah, good MRM hits. Scored a critical Am I wrong, or did it look like the acid increased my damage from my other weapons that round? I'm ready for orders. It looked that way. Put you here. Not bad. Get on this guy. Shred him. Man, we got lucky with this matchup. These guys were clans. Or Comstar or something like that. We'd be in a lot of trouble at this point. Okay, let's not get over there where that uh, guy can hit us with a thumper. like the positioning on any of this. <sighs> what if we do... Yeah, I see, like, they're through buildings, man. Like, even if I move here and open up on one of these guys. Still gonna see us through the building. At least that would be a side shot there. I think I have to sprint this. Like I just can't get enough movement out of it. Maybe like that. 
Let's do this. I copy. I know where it's putting us in range of that thumper, but I think we go after this guy. Put a bit of heat on him. I'm gonna drop one of the larges for now. So we can get some mobility next turn. And maybe we'll vigilance this so we can get some good initiative next turn. Hopefully we can go ahead of this guy. Firing. Oh, yeah. Everything hit. Beautiful. Oh, he cannot take heat very well. Waiting on you, Commander. Yeah, the uh, Hunchback cannot take no the heat. Sweat. Cannot take the heat. Let's tell him to get out of the kitchen. Incendiaries. Sniper in direct fire mode. Ooh, yeah, man. Let's hammer him. Now, this thing does not do a lot. For a 75-ton mech on my side, it doesn't really do a lot in most battles. It's kind of like a... I don't want to say a waste of a mech slot, but it is, you know... It's okay. Damage is kind of a waste. But in these instances like this, that was actually a pretty good strike. But for a 75, I guess for a 75 time mech, it's a pretty good strike. And here's that fucking ripper to annoy me. You know the bizarre thing is? Armor holding. And I'm gonna throw another another rule. Yeah. Another rule uh, quirk that I I'm not really a, font, a fan of. So you cannot use flamers against flying targets. I'm fine with that. I totally understand why you would never be able to use a flamer against a flying target. Cool. Great. Wonderful. No using flamers against flying targets. Somehow, that ripper flew oh, across okay. the map. Technically, he's still moving because he's got uh, momentum, right? How does he fire a flamer out of the front of his aircraft at that speed? He's obviously going over 100 kilometers an hour, probably, or close to 100. It's just going to blow straight back into his windscreen. So, if you're going to use the rule that you cannot fire a flamer at a uh, an aircraft, I'm, I'm cool with that. But the aircraft should not be able to mount flamers. They just shouldn't. Unless they're really slow moving. Scored a critical hit. Mm. Or it's a side or rear weapon or something, you know? Just my two cents. Maybe I'm just being to, uh, what do you want to call it? Too anal about things hey, like that, but it just makes sense, you know? Uh, yeah, that's a bad chance to hit on that guy. What about the Ripper, though? Can we get rid of the noise? Let's try and delete the noise if we can. I'm gonna war this. Delete the noise so we can stay away from him. Come on! Yep. There we go. Damage effects are One nice, though. More for some trash heap. Damage effects are nice. Yeah, you run. Oh, he's not using the thumper, though, eh? wonder if it's because he's so heated up. What? No. I think the thumper does a fair bit of... Uh, adds a fair bit of heat. Forty percent, eh? All right, well, Moving tool position. let's get into here. Let's go with everything on him. Firing. Looking Ooh, good night, sweet prince. Enemy mech destroyed. Now all I have to worry about is this little guy right here. Commander. Oh, we can see the thumper vehicle. I wonder how much damage he took. I didn't actually see him go. I'm talking away here. I'm not actually watching what's going on. Actually, that's a... That's a lot of damage. To the one side. At least it's the side that's, I guess, kind of closest to us in a way. 63 damage with the AC-5s on this thing. I'll take that. It's kind of nice. Fire. Locking up. Ah, only two hits. Yep. Kill the thumper, or I think so. Confirmed. They could go after that thumper vehicle. They could do the most damage versus the buildings. So, Marauders, the PPCs, and AC5s. Get the 
Ultra back up and running. Let's control burst this. Drop some recoil. Reduce the jam chance. Open up on this guy. Okay, at least we got the tag on. Oh, we got him. Beautiful. That archer's just not moving. Wait, what's that? Eight, turn 18 now. Okay, so... Maybe the archer will move forward? I don't know. Where are you going? Going after the vehicle still, eh? Standing by. Alright, Sarge, get your ass out of the fire. Let's go here. Still gotta be way. mindful of that guy behind the building. He may come out trying to shoot somebody in the back, so... Let's see if we can delete this guy. Um... Eh, let's just turn these off. That's fine. Let's warlord it, though. We'll save the incendiaries or acid for somebody Roger. else. Nice. Target destroyed. Delete stuff. Delete stuff. There we go. Finally. Now, I bet you we have artillery turrets, and I bet you they shoot us in the back. Oh, they got him. I take it back. Everything I said about our allies, I take it back. <laughs> On the move. <laughs> they help us out there. Alright, let's warlord this guy. What can we do to him? Two ER larges. Uh, that's bringing us up dangerously high and uh... What does this give us? Yeah, let's just go this route. We are shooting past our own guy here, so... Nice. Good start. Good start. I hear you. We also got some direct fire from here too, so uh, let's go with Warlord. This guy's revealed himself to us, so and let's go with the incendiary as well. Firing. Commencing alpha strike. Ooh, that was a miss. That wasn't though. Another hit like that, and you're toast. He's pretty toasty now. Who do we have left here to go? A longbow. Ooh, nice shot. We got the knockdown too. I think we need to barbecue this guy though. The longbow. Keep him from firing that thumper. Oh, you backing up, are you? He knows there's a minefield. He did take my damage though. I saw the damage. I saw the damage. Zero from 40. He did take a little. I still think the minefield spread too much. I would narrow the uh, the band on those. Keep the damage exactly the same. Narrow the band. Orders. Okay. Uh, we could delete that guy, but I think... I think... We should probably... Oops. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I think we should do this to this guy. Enjoy. Stop him from shooting that big weapon. All right. Uh, I'm listening. Get to here. Moving. Mm -hmm. Keep your lightweight ass from getting hit. Fire at this guy. Let's go for some legs here. This one's probably the better of the two. Spread it around. Why don't you spread it around? Standing by. All right. Let's see if we can. Surgically strike one of these legs here. Let's go after that one. Keeping it on incendiary because even if we uh, don't take the leg, what can I do for you? At least we can. Um, I want to just hit this guy with incendiary. If we don't take the leg, we can add heat, so maybe he won't fire if he stands up. That's what I was going to say. Can't get away from that chopper.
Or we could go after... Where's the archer? Let's go after the archer with some EMP. You betcha. My thought behind this is if we lower his sensors... Like that. He might not be able to see us and might move forward into the minefield. Maybe? I'm guessing here. Okay, let's get in here. Confirmed. I'm gonna go with some incendiary on this guy again too. Don't think we can take him out this turn, but at least we can keep him uh, from shooting. I take this well, we don't have to worry about the uh, Got past the bumper office. anymore. What do you need? All right, we're in cleanup mode. Let's just finish this up, guys. Clean up mode. 55, 63. Let's go with this. And... I don't really have the ability to just... easily take a leg here. Might have got... No, we didn't get the leg. Badass. Receiving you. Uh, what about you? I guess you can't select just a handful of, uh... Nope. Let's just get in the trees then. Roger. Sprint and get in the trees. So we got one shot in that leg and nothing on that leg. So let's go there with one. Okay, that looks like we got it. Come on, bail out. Damn it. Yeah, we got the leg. He's running now. Damn it! You had to run the other way, did you? I'd be interested to see. Uh, maybe someone can fill me in. That's swarm ammo. Yeah. So, it still does damage. Right? Because I'm assuming that it just... The weapon explodes and then all these little bomblets kind of fall out. Swarm but around the target and hit them, right? That's my guess. So if you shot them all down with AMS... Would it still, like, because it always seems like they do damage no matter what. I wonder if it would still do damage. Hostile eliminated. Well, that guy's deleted. Receiving you. Alright. Um, do we want to go after that archer? Got a handful of thunder left. Just spread it around over there. See what he does. He's gonna make us chase him down. I know he is. Don't blow him up! If he ejects, I'm happy. Make him eject. I think that's gotta stop too. The, the mechs that have jump jets that do short jumps. I guess, in a way, they probably generate more evasion than walking or running. I'm here. So in a way, I guess it's good for them, but in the long run, though, it really isn't. Say so. so do I have... Oh, I have the ability to shoot this guy. Fuck it. Let's just try. Got the right leg. Ah, uh, torso, damn it. But that hurt. Oh, Alright, he bailed. I was hoping that we would get both legs with the spill damage, but we didn't. No biggie. Let's finish this off and go home. Full sprint. Well, who's easier to hit? You are. Fire. Take three points. Three points is three points. Standing by. Full speed it is. Not exactly sure why we're moving so slow through there. Yeah, Commander. 
trees, I guess? Full throttle. Can't make us move that slow. Yep. Let's move. Alright. Keep moving up here. Well, I don't know what I want to salvage out of this, though. I mean, I guess I guess the obvious thing is the king crab parts. I'll try. So we've got a chance to shoot this guy? Really? It's got that kind of range? I guess so. It's hyper velocity. Might as well take a shot at him. I'll try. Yeah. If anything, it makes Bad him ter luck. terrified. I don't know if you guys just noticed that. You. I just kind of caught it, and maybe I didn't see it correctly, but a that uh, Merlin had a searchlight in the front, or it has a light in the front, and while it was shining, it was the vehicles here were casting shadows on the ground. Uh, that, that that kind of attention to detail, I, I really appreciate. I love it when the uh, the uh, designers actually do things like that. It's subtle, but it just makes a lot of sense. Ah, oh, shit! Now I gotta run through a fucking minefield. God damn it! Minimal damage on that hit. Laugh it up, fuzzball. Oh, he's moving through the minefield now too. Waiting on you, Commander. So let's target Yo. Yo. Go with the MP. Uh-huh. Oh, he's at the edge of the map too, so can't go any further than that. At least they can't run away. Commander. So I'm sure I've mentioned this before, but the EF EMP affects sensors. Um but it also affects, uh, what do we want to do with this guy? This, I think. Yeah. It affects, um, your heat sinking as well, so it negatively impacts your ability to sink heat. LRMs are out. Alright, well, at least he's got more minefield around him, and... I guess we're gonna have to flank left here. Flank, you know, right. Why is my direction so terrible today? You know what it is? It's the morning. It's Victoria Day week here, weekend here in Canada, so it's Monday for me. Something I can do. Normally I wake up and go and get up around noon, but today I did not. Got up early this morning, 10 o'clock or something like that. Yeah, it doesn't seem early, but that's early for me. On a weekend, usually noon is my wake up time. But I don't go to bed till late, so that's that's the reason why. Alright, let's just shoot this guy. Get this over with. How many turns we got left? We got two turns left. These guys have to all die. Nice. Right here. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's just put you. Here. I gotta figure out where everybody else is going, so I gotta have to make sure everyone's got room to shoot here. Because we're definitely not going through that minefield. That's gonna be a bad time. Let's get the heavy rocket launcher on. Fire it all. I want this guy down this turn, and then the other guy down next turn. All out of short range missiles. Okay, he's structured. I'm here. Sergeant. Position we can confirmed. only fire at the other guy. Okay, that's fine. Why are we so slow now? Did we take actuator damage? Maybe we did. Maybe we took actuator damage. That's a possibility. Incendiaries or acid? Acid, so we can increase the damage. Firing. Yeah. See, that's why I think those mechs shouldn't be jumping around back there. Commander? Because they don't manage their own they don't manage their stability. So they're jumping, jumping, no jumping, shoot. and then they jump themselves into a, hey, just blow on me and I'll fall over. Warlord, confirm. Don't really want this Merlin. Wait. CT's got how much? Okay, not bad. Firing. Nice. Critical hit, Commander. That guy's taking an LRM-70. Hey. Hey. Hey, listen. You can fly right over the minefield, though. It's the benefit of having this thing. 
AMS protected, beautiful. This guy's unstable, firing. Ooh, there goes the leg. Have a seat, buddy. That looked, that looked like a critical hit. What do you need? Tax master. Can we get... Here's what we're doing. This. And how much... You got four points left. Let's go this route. Here we go. Get rid of this building so we can shoot next turn. Target destroyed. I also open the doors Get for these guys. There we go. On it. All right, let's see if we can take the leg off this guy. It's got 130. That's what, 80, 160? If they all hit, we're good to go. I doubt it, but we never know, right? And again, it is Tiger Tail. Looks like she hit three of them. Reporting critical hit. I think she hit three of them. She sure as hell did. Sure as hell did. Okay, who's up? Aye, aye. Can you, uh... we go. Oh, we've only got 60. Fuck it. Burn him. Oh, we, we, you know what? He's going down anyway, so. He's pretty much done. We hit a lot in that CT, that last that last uh, chance, so this should do it. Confirmed. Yep. Okay, we might get the Archer this Target round, too. We've got an LRM-20 left. Long range missiles are out. Straight up Warlord it. Let's go here. Let's go here. Let's not use that. And... EMP or what? Swarm? Incendiaries? That might blow him up if we use incendiary. Let's just use the... Well, which one's the easiest? We need four hits. this route. I know it's the worst chance to hit, but it does the most damage. Per hit. There we go. Nice. Ah, uh, we got the whole torso too. See that? I did. Mission successful. Alright, well, let's see what we get out of this. Hopefully we get that get a uh, kaiju out of this. We did pretty well. I'm actually kind of pleased that we didn't take as much damage as we could have. Although I think if we were fighting one of the, the greater houses, or the clans, or Comstar, or whatever, um, or word of Blake would have been a far different story so but um, yeah well we got one kaiju part it's not bad marauder part archer part orion parts I know we've got orion parts already we're gonna put one together Thumper artillery vehicle we want to well that's a lot of armor we could shift the thumper to the vehicle let's take those two Warhammer part, AC-10s. Okay, let's see what we got down here. Combat shotgun. So it's a six-ton melee weapon. I guess it only fires in melee. Handheld LBX. Fires cluster munitions. 30% multiplier to punch attack damage. 20% multiplier to, to attack damage stability. 10 shots. So that's great for a melee, uh, a melee mech. Two recoil. I gotta throw it in because I, I don't know if we'll build a melee mech in this playthrough. I know we're gonna be. I actually already have one in uh, backyard hooligans, which we'll see again this week. Uh, the swordsman's up and running now as a melee mech, so um, we might. I'm gonna take the combat shotgun. We don't need the thumper artillery. It's not a lot down here. Plus two heat sinks. We got two of these already. Pharaoh, we don't need. We got lots of. Double heat sink kit though. We got four. Never mind. Double heat sinks. Thirteen. PPC capacitor. Twenty percent damage when active, plus nine heat per turn when active. 
plus 10% PPC heat generation when active. So if we're running this on a clan PPC, it's going to do an extra 15 damage for an extra 14 and a half heat. Fifteen damage for fourteen and a half heat. I'm trying to think of what that would be related to. So a medium laser does twenty-five damage for nine heat. ER medium laser does twenty-five damage for twenty heat. So fifteen damage for fourteen heat is not really I mean, I guess it's good if you're in a clinch and you got really great chances to hit. You can apply that extra little bit of damage here or there if you're running just PPCs. Let's drop it in. I might use it. AMS ammo, finally. God, two missions in a row where we get AMS ammo. I can't not take that. It's been like all playthrough. I've been looking for AMS ammo and haven't been able to get any. And now I got some and probably have no use for it, but we'll, we'll take it anyway. Maybe we just take this for C bills. I don't know. We're okay for a financial report though, I think, so I can run some offline matches. Thumper. PPC Donalds. Now these are what? Sensor disruption applied in AOE. Deals area effect damage within 60 meters of impact. Recoil of two. So 15% extra damage on this would be an extra 7.5 damage for 12 heat. But we'd be doing AoE damage. I don't know, let's drop that in. I don't, I mean, I don't generally like these lower power PPCs. I know they give you an, like, they give an ECM jamming. But, oh, it's got a 50% chance to misfire when firing in fire off mode. Okay. That's fine. We won't be using it in that mode probably. Anyway, that's the, that's the close range mode most likely. Yeah. Like, I don't really go for these lower range PPC because an ER large laser weighs less and generates about the same amount of heat, but fires farther, does about the same amount of damage, and it weighs less. So... I generally like the ER larger uh, more. The AOE though, I don't know. The, like that, like that's actually the the AOE is what's tipping it over for me. I think. But yeah, I think we go this route and see what we get here. Okay, we got an archer part, fire starter part, Frankie, Hunchback, King Crab, Merlin. A lot of mech parts here. Thumper vehicle we chose, Thunderbolt. So narc launcher. Let's keep it. Uh, SRM-6, we've got four. Let's keep that now, because, I don't know, I'm thinking about maybe um, trying Fists of Doran idea of using the uh, Thunderbolt, no, not Thunderbolt, the uh, Hephaestos, the uh, Warhammer, because it's an Omni-Mech, using it as, like, maybe a close-range mech with SRMs. Because maybe we, like, we could use, like, the missile, um, missile range sensors to increase the range on them. Maybe. I don't know. I haven't 100% decided yet. So well, let's keep that. Thumper artillery, we can probably just go ahead and sell. I think so. Make 450000 off that. That's nice. In case we got lots of. 280 core, we already have one. Let's hang on to that one just in case. Beagle probe. Hang on to it. That, I might as well just sell it for 90. That can go. Keep the double heat sinks. That can go. Structure can go. I don't think we're ever going to use a standard AC-10. But let's hang on to the ammo. Definitely keeping that. Swarm we'll hang on to as a backup machine gun ammo can go. So we did okay. I mean, we made about 700,000. All right, let's go to the, Mer the uh, mech bay real quick here and see if we do have the king crab parts. I thought it was this playthrough. It could be wrong. It could have been the Nikons. We got two. We got three. <laughs> but the problem is, is that we can only put together this older version. So that's got two ballistic, two laser, and three missile uh, support. This one's got four lasers, so I think we're going to hold off until we get another part. I could just, 
assemble the old version, but I think I would rather get this guy. Or another king crab. So let's just hang hang on and we'll use these parts to build something else. I wish I could... Sometimes you can do that, though. I noticed that if you got a single mech part like here... I guess this is because these are Omni mechs. Most likely that's the case. I think Omnis, if yeah, you can. I think you can have a single part with Omnis, but I think you need multi parts if you have. Oh, maybe not. Well, Talos. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why it does that. Maybe it's just because one's an old version and the other one's not. So you could use newer parts in an older version, but you can't use older version parts in a newer one to make it a full mech. That would kind of make sense to me. All right, but I'm going to leave, leave this episode here. This was kind of a long one. The next episode will be the Night Gaunts finishing off uh, Red Reaper. So you're going to want to go ahead and watch that one. That's going to be a good one, I think. So I'll leave the episode here. hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.